Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Enzyme. In this video, we will discuss this problem split and maximize. Now, before starting this video, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button and kindly watch this video till the end uh, to actually understand the problem. Before many of you just write the comments uh, asking for doubts, and I observe that you have not even watched the uh, whole part. So, kindly watch the video whole before writing your doubts in the comment section. Okay. Now, let's first read the problem statement. Chef has an array of n positive integers. You can perform the following operation at most once. Select an index i uh, and an integer k greater than or equals to 1 and select k non-negative integers uh, such that uh, this condition the 2 raised to power x1 plus 2 raised to power x2 till 2 raised to power xk equals to a of i and then we want to erase a of i and append these numbers to a and then we want to maximize the bitwise ZOR of all the elements. Okay. Now the important thing here is we can do this operation only once. Uh, so this is important. Now let's see the uh, constraints. So we have 2 into 10 to the power 5 numbers and we have 2 to the power 60. So we must use long long otherwise our code might give us a, a wrong answer. Okay. Now I think uh, the desk, uh, the sample input is quite clear, so I will not discuss that. So, I mean, how can we actually approach this? Let's say we have 5, 7 and 7. Uh, so I'm taking this example now. So, uh, so 5 can be written as 1, 0, 1, 7 is 1, 1, 1 and 8, 7 is also 1, 1, 1. So now I can say like 2 raised to power 0 is occurring uh, one three times. 2 raised to power 1 is occurring 2 times and 2 raised to power 2 is occurring uh, 3 times, right? So clearly the bitwise or, uh, I mean for those who don't know, 1's or 1 is 0, 0's or 0 is 1, uh, uh, sorry 0's or 0 is also 0, 0's uh, or 1 is 1. Basically when you have difference, uh, then it is 1. So clearly I can say if the number of bits set is odd, then we get a 1. If it is even, then we get a 0. Why do we get a 1? Because it is like 1's or 1's or 1. So, I mean, clearly this will become 0, uh, then this will become 1 and so on. Uh, just for those who are beginners. Okay. So, clearly if you take the bitwise or of all these uh, integers, you will get 1, 0 and 1. So, this is equals to 5. So, bitwise or of all these numbers is 5. Okay. Now, how do we actually maximize it? So what we can do is uh, like I know that this is an even number, right? So I want to make this an odd number. So I have to borrow from someone like if I have this equals to 2, uh, what I can do is I can write 2 to the power 1 is equals to 2 times 2 to the power 0, right? And I can add this to the answer. So I can convert this array to 2 to the power 0 equals to 5. 2 to the power 1 equals to 2 and 2 to the power 2 equals to 3 right uh, not not 2 uh, actually, actually 1 right so I can convert this array to this and the bitwise or will be 1 1 1 and I have maximized my answer so that is how we are going to approach this problem uh, let's say you have something like uh, I mean I will try to explain you this using examples only uh, because uh, I don't know how to, I'm not good uh, at explaining it through algebra. So let's say 2 to the power 0 is some number, I don't know, like, uh, let's take any arbitrary numbers, like let's say 1, two to the, let's take it, it to be 0, it doesn't matter, let's take it to be 0. Uh, 2 to the power 1 is equals to, let's say, 2, 2 to the power 2 equals to, let's say, 4, 2 to the power four, uh, 3 equals to, let's say, 6. Okay, so let's discuss this example and from this example, it will cover all, all the cases and if you are able to understand this example, uh, you should be able to solve the whole problem now. Okay, so let's say we have these numbers like 2 to, 2 to the power 0 is occurring 0 number of times, 1 is occurring 2 and so on. Okay, now obviously since we know that uh, the summation of let's say 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 till 2 to the power i is less than 2 to the power i plus 1. Uh, we have this uh, okay since this is the case then we should always try to uh, set the uh, the lower bits the higher bits first sorry so we should always try to set the higher bits first uh, so we will try to set the bits from in reverse order 
now obviously since uh, 2 to the power 5 is occurring only uh, uh, this should be 2 to the power 6 and not 5 okay since 2 to the power 6 is only occurring once the so we don't need to do anything uh, it is an odd number right and this is occurring only three number and um, only three times uh, so this is also an odd number so this bit will also be set but now we are at here uh, it is equals to zero now you might argue like uh, if i ask you can you make this equals to one can you uh, should you i mean first thing is first should you even try to make this bit equals to one uh, now you might argue that okay <laughs> uh, now you might argue that okay we can make this one uh, because we have 2 raised to the power 5 which is an odd number of times but it can give uh, uh, so it can give 2 times 2 to the power 5 right I can remove 2 no I can't actually remove 2 because in the question it is given that you can perform this operation only once so if if uh, if you remove a higher bit this will convert to 2 and we don't want to uh, and become unset so we can't actually do uh, we can't actually make this uh, uh, make set this bit right so uh, this will not work so this bit has to be set to 0 for now let's say for we have 2 to the power 3 now uh, what I can do is I can take 1 2 to the power 3 and split it into 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 okay so I will say okay let's you can take 1 here okay uh, for now you can take 2 uh, so I can uh, reset this to 1 and for now I will say okay let's let I will let 2 to the power 2 take 2 times now I reached here and realized that this was also an even number okay and if this is also an even number uh, adding 2 times of that will not actually work so what I can do is uh, since 2 to the power 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 1 I will say okay uh, you don't take 2 to the power 1 uh, I will give it to another one okay and now I came here so this will become actually 5 because it is getting 2 to the power 2 from this one and now since get, this is also getting two numbers uh, now I realized that this was also an even number okay so this is also an even number so now what I can do is uh, from this number I can write this as 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 0 so I can remove this edge uh, incremented by only one so this will become 3 okay and now I can increase this uh, by 2 okay so clearly I can't control the parity of the last number 2 to the power 0 but that is how if I encounter a number which is even and greater than 0 I can increment I can uh, recursively increment the other numbers something like that so that was the approach of this problem and I hope you were able to understand this if not you can uh, kindly rewind this video a few minutes and uh, try to solve this example on your own at least okay and once you are ready uh, let's try to code this up okay so let's first take the uh, input uh, we have an integer n uh, sorry about that we have an integer n c in n now uh, let's take the vector int a of n so now what we can do is uh, let's first take the vector integer and I also want to form the uh, the count array right I want to count the number of times the ith power of 2 is occurring so I can say vector int count of uh, I will initialize the capital n let's say initialize capital n equals to 61 because uh, 2 raised to power i was going till 60 so just to be on the safer side I will said okay 61 n comma 0 and now I can say uh, let's go for another loop uh, for j in range uh, n okay if uh, a of i and 1 less than less than j and make sure to make it a long long otherwise it might give you some errors I can say count of uh, j plus plus okay so now I have calculated the uh, this table so I have calculated this table now now what I can say is uh, okay let's have a bool variable so bool check equals to false and my final answer is uh, here so I can say answer equals to 0 for now right now I can go in reverse direction uh, reverse for in range uh, I will start from n minus 1 so it I am starting from actually 60 now I have to check 
what do i have to check if i, I if i can find a number which is first of all it should be greater than 0 and it should be even okay so if count of i is greater than 0 and count of i mod 2 equals equal 0 then i will say check equals to true okay and if my check is true like i had here if the counter was 2 and uh, so i can make i can set this bit right so if my check is true then i can say that okay let uh let's take the or with answer answer is equals to answer or one long long less than less than i and in the end uh i mean i also need to uh, ensure that uh, uh, I also need, need to ensure that if it uh, if the count was actually odd or one, so I can say here also if count of i uh, mod two equals equal mod three uh, mod two, or if it is an odd number, let's just let's just take uh, or by default. Uh, like okay, obviously if it is an odd number, then uh, that bit will obviously be set. Now, uh, what can I do? uh like okay we have this now uh i mean uh we can't do anything about the uh two to the power zero bit right so i have to go till greater than zero and in the end i should also take the or with two to the power zero so i can say if count of zero and one answer is equals to answer or one okay and then in the end i can simply print my answer variable let's see if it works okay so it passed let's try to submit this and see if this answer is working okay so i hope uh, so i hope you were able to understand the solution and uh, if you have any queries or doubts you can comment down this video i will see you guys next time thank you